So in the first episode of Road to Alpha 2, we briefly talked about caravans and how they're going to be involved in Glyn and play commodity systems. But caravans are also going to be integral and important part of Ashley creation in general. And since they've been the focus of two of the monthly live streams in the past six months, I thought they needed a video all to themselves, especially since we've not talked about them in nearly two years on the channel. As just more and more information came and I wanted to wait till it quieted down and we had some really up-to-date information on it. But without rambling on anymore let's just jump right into the video and all the information that's updated that we have about caravans today so in ashes of creation caravans are how you transfer large quantities of items between nodes and around vera and the four types of caravans currently in ashes of creation and they are personal caravans raft caravans which are kind of an extension of personal caravans meorial caravans and system driven caravans personal caravans are pretty much what they sound like they're used by one or more players Players to transport the items between nodes. They're also called self-directed or player-driven caravans. They can be put on land or water-based, however when you go into water they are then raft caravans, but we'll go into that later down the line, and they are driven by a single player as the name suggests. Personal caravans can be prepared and launched from a caravan nursery. They can also be summoned from your inventory within a certain distance from a node as we saw in the October 2023 live stream. Due to these being players personal caravans you can modify the components on them this in turn will give them different stats passive abilities active abilities and these components can be upgraded to increase the caravans overall power which is pretty fucking cool and brings a lot of customization into play and maybe tactics when attacking or defending them now anyone who's been following ashes of creation for a long time will know the skins can be applied to caravans to make them look a bit different now if no skin is applied the look of the caravan and and what is pulling your caravan will be decided by your race. As well as that, the owner of the caravan does not have to be the player driving the caravan. They can give permission to allow other players to drive the caravan, which is great for PvP situations. When someone dies or the person's caravan dies, they can keep moving, the person can respawn. Kind of helps out a lot. It's kind of more team oriented. But if no permissions are granted, then the standard sentence on the caravan is that any player can drive them. So even so, if you forget to set or you rushing, someone else can jump on, but you can give specific people if certain people are a bit crazy with driving or maybe, let's be blunt, not as trustworthy, you'll do something a bit stupid. They don't have the permission, so they don't end up messing everything up. So what happens if the owner of the caravan is killed while driving it? Well, in that case, the caravan will not despawn for 15 to 20 minutes. After 15 to 20 minutes, though, the caravan will turn into a wreckage that will contain a portion of the cargo but we will get into the caravan pvp in another video because there's just so much content in here i wanted to break them down into two separate ones to really cover all of the information and stuff that's maybe not being covered just yet another thing you might ask yourself well what happens if the player disconnects or if the player logs out while using the caravan we know games go on the internet and life the good thing about that is it will not despawn for five to ten minutes this also results in the cargo being deployed to the ground Caravans do have collision settings in Ashes of Creation, so you will be able to jump on top of them while they are being driven, and if any players or mounts stand in the way, they will be pushed by the caravan. Now, the next one is raft caravans. So, raft caravans, which are also named naval caravans, they're not like merchant ships, as they have a capability of transitioning from land to water. Only raft caravans can be used on rivers. Ships will not be able to be summoned or used on rivers. Now at the moment the stats on a raft caravan are decided by the stats on the land caravan. It's subject to testing and may change during Alpha 2 or after Alpha 2 Intrepid said and I honestly believe once they have the other systems kind of in check and advanced on and working they will definitely dip into this being its own thing so there'll be different things you can potentially craft or farm for and it just brings more replayability and more advancements in the caravan system which it's kind of a no brainer but i think that's down the line i also think what they've got here is pretty sound but it's nice to see they've left that open to advancements on them systems and when it comes to skins they're going to be the same as personal land caravans you'll be able to apply skins to them or leave them with the default racial appearance so we do have meorial caravans and i haven't seen much chatter about them but i'm going to cover them anyways meorial caravans also known as trade caravans are controlled and launched by the mayor of a node to trade needed resources from another node however you cannot trade 
trade resources with any node, there must be a trade agreement or an alliance with the node you are trading resources with. The number of trade agreements or alliances a node can have is limited and will affect the reputation between the two nodes. And once the mayor of the other node, the one sending the resources accepted the order, a system driven caravan is spawned players can help to defend the caravan just like they can with any other caravan. However, Meorial caravans can initiate a world event if the system chooses to and depending on other factors in the world, which is going to be pretty crazy. It's nice and refreshing. It's not rinse and repeat the same shit as the other caravan systems. It's uh, it's going to be one that definitely needs tested and I think there's going to be a lot of fun with it. And finally, we have system driven caravans, also known as quest driven caravans. However, we haven't heard about these in quite a while. So they may no longer even be in the game, especially since we don't have a lot of information about them. I'm sure in time we'll maybe get more info, you know, maybe some leaks or Steven might randomly say something in the stream that he's not meant and Margaret shuts him down. But I'm not really going to go too much into speculation as the Road to Alpha 2 series is going to be factual with the latest, most updated information that we have and I'll keep the speculation for me for content. Now, I said about caravanerseries and people are like, you know, maybe what is that? How does that work? So a caravan nursery is where you go to make a caravan. These will be in every single node as soon as they reach stage 3 as they come as one of the pre-built buildings in the nodes. The caravan nursery building is going to be upgradable to add more beneficial features. The caravan nursery building is where caravans are constructed, prepared and unloaded via the caravan master NPC. You can only upgrade the components on your caravan if it's classed as parked within one of the stalls and these components can be obtained by crafters and the higher the crafter's skill the better the components can be that you can add to your caravans or personalize it a bit more so what else is there well there's caravan cargo and capacity so obviously a caravan's capacity is decided by the components you use to make it there'll be a trade-off between stats provided by components so in my head i'd imagine a caravan with loads of room for cargo is going to be much slower than that has minimal amount of space and I imagine certain things will affect defense or maybe passive abilities and all these other things will come into play that we need to kind of mix and match for whatever we're choosing to do whatever routes and environmental things political things you know enemy territories there's a lot of thought process that's going to go into this and planning your journey and to transport items on a caravan, they must be in crates, and they are small, medium, and large crates. The higher the quality of the crate also affects its capacity. Crates will also use spatial inventory system used in the player's inventory. Now, currently, caravans can transport materials and resources, player commodities, and node commodities. But the speed of the caravan is not currently affected by the weight. Now, that kind of contradicts what I've said above, where the trade-off between stats provided by components in made I'd imagine the caravan with loads of room for cargo is going to be much slower and then I say the speed of the caravan is not currently affected by weight so you imagine you automatically get a debuff for something like that but it's not necessarily the more weight you have in it the the slower it is but maybe it is it I really don't know and maybe they'll balance things and they'll have this one day and then the next month they won't we're really just going to have to test this out and I think there's a lot of things when we do get into the game that are going to change about this so this is the information we have for alpha 2 and it is solid it is factual and it is up to date but i would bear in mind once you do get in alpha 2 and once it's tested a bit more or even pre alpha 2 i know we're not long out now three to five months max i would say just be you know prepared to change your opinions and know that some of this might vastly change i don't honestly think it'd be too crazy but if there's issues with it it will need balanced as it's a major part of the game and that is totally fine because at the end of the day we all just want a better finished more balanced product and MMO for when it launches and when it's tested in beta 1 and 2. So rounding up that video that is kind of every single thing we know about the caravans and I am going to be jumping into the PvP with caravans in my next video but I know I couldn't have put it all into this video because I want it to be as factual and as thorough as possible and if I had just smashed in all the PvP content here it would have been so long and I probably would have missed a lot of content and that's just not something I'm wanting to do. I do want the Road to Alpha 2 series to get people 
were fully prepared for Alpha 2 and if you're not in Alpha 2 just know every aspect of the game as it developed so we can really show what Intrepid's doing and see the progress, the patches, the balances and the actual development this game is making because it does get a lot of heat lately, a lot of people crying about it and a lot of people really don't understand what these guys have achieved over many many fucking years and the loops and bounds they've made going forward and the fact that it isn't a launched game, it's pre-fucking Alpha 2 and we're not even in Alpha 2 yet. But as always, I really do appreciate you watching the video. Drop some comments in the comment section below. Let me know your thoughts on the caravan systems, anything that could add in, or just genuinely if you like where the hat pre-Alpha 2. If you could, give the video a share, drop a like as it's always going to help me on the channel. I do want to push out for 2 to 3k so before the launch of Alpha 2. It's pretty ambitious, I know, but why not aim high and see what we can do. But you know, only time will tell. I've got a lot of content coming so I think it's fairly viable. So if you haven't subbed already, hit that subscribe button and I'll catch you in the next one. Cheers.